thousand Iowans live with diabetes, and state capital reporter Connor Hendricks has a look at legislation that would cap the cost of insulin. What is the one thing in your life that you absolutely cannot live without? Me it's insulin. Without it, I'm a dying woman. Teresa Hildreth of Rockwell City is a type 1 diabetic. Hildreth says medical costs for diabetics are very high. An average diabetic has more than almost $14,000 per year in costs associated with their disease. Republican State Senator Carrie Kelker of Dubuque County says she wants to ease that cost. She's introduced legislation that would create a price cap of $75 a month for Iowans on state regulated insurance plans. Paige Yance with the AARP of Iowa says the bill could impact about 500,000 Iowans. These are individuals that perhaps are on a state funded or a state covered plan, so they might work for the state. Yance says the legislation is needed as Iowa's population ages. Diabetes um, is not getting any less prevalent in Iowa. It's certainly growing, and as our population continues to age, we're likely to see more people continue to uh, receive those diagnoses. Jan says people who can't afford their insulin may resort to rationing it. When someone rations their doses, it has a direct impact on their long-term health. And when you have an impact on things like um, diabetic foot diabetic foot pain, um, diabetic eyes. There are a lot of different health implications of failing to comply with this insulin regimen. Democratic State Senator Sarah Trone Garriott of West Des Moines says the bill is a helpful step, but she still has questions. I am interested to learn more about other other consumers, other Iowans who might not be positively impacted by this bill. You know, are there folks who are underinsured, not insured? Um, who are those folks that, that are needing help? Kelker says she's tried to get insulin price caps passed for the past six years, and though this new bill may not be perfect, it'll still help people. The bill made it out of its committee last week. It is now eligible for a debate on the Senate floor. From the Iowa Capitol Bureau, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.